Hey guys, this is the last part of Math Daily's. Um, I had an issue with my recording, so it cut off, but um, the last um, box four in Math Daily's number 26, day one, um, is what we're doing, the last box. So it's one third compared with two fifths. Um, we are writing either less than, greater than, or equal to to make the statement true. So I drew a picture um, and unless you can draw a perfect picture, you may not always be able to tell with a picture. And in my picture, it kind of looks like two-fifths is greater than one-third, so hopefully that's correct. But just to make sure, we need to um, make these both into fractions that can have the same denominator. Because right now we have thirds and fifths, and we can't really compare those two very easily. So we need to change it to a denominator that we can compare. Um, with each other. So we know that three times five is 15. So both of these should be able to be changed to fifteenths. So I'm gonna go ahead and write fifteenths um, next to it. Okay, now the way we get three to 15, we have to multiply times what number? Three times blank equals 15. Well, hopefully you said times five. So if we multiply the bottom times five, we also have to multiply the top by five. One times five is five. So another way to write one third is five fifteenths. If we divided each of these into five and had five, 10, 15, this would be five fifteenths, then 10 fifteenths, then 15 fifteenths. So we can change it to 5 fifteenths. Now we can do the same thing with 2 fifths. 5 times blank is 15 times 3. That's how we get to 15. So we multiply the bottom by 5. We also have to multiply the top. I mean by 3, I'm sorry. If we multiply the bottom by 3, we also have to multiply the top by 3. Still thinking of my 5 from over here. 2 times 3 is 6. So if these were fifteenths, all divided into um, fifteenths instead of fifths, each one of these would be three. And I'll try to kind of draw that. We did it like that and made five, 10, 15 spots. Well, then each of these fifths would be three. So two fifths would be six fifteenths. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six fifteenths is the same as two fifths. And I could probably do this the same way. Um, and you see that one, two, three, four, five out of the whole 15 is the same as one third. Um, so now we can compare five fifteenths and six fifteenths. Well, five is less than six. Now my uh, marker's writing kind of gray, but anyway. Uh, so five, fifteenths is less than six fifteenths, so one third is less than two fifths. 